Teeing it up for the Hawks to open tonight's ball game, number 25, Corey Baker. Number two. He may go. One man. A nice tackle. Uh oh. And your quarterback, number 18, is sacked by the Hawk defense. Defensive pressure led by number 55, Chad Pitts. With the Number seven, Joey Jarena is your Hawk quarterback. Oh. And Jarena throws a nice pass. It threads the needle in between three eagles, and it's complete to number one, Joel Carver. Hawks will pick up good yardage, and it will be a first down into Eagle territory. Tackle made by number 80 of the Eagles, Jimmy Veranek. 27 yards on the pass play from number seven, Joey Drena to number one, Joe Carver. He throws a nice ball, doesn't he? And Drena's pass is complete. Pass uh, thrown it in there to number one. Once again, Joel Carver. Okay, who's kicking? In to attempt the uh, field goal for the Hawks, number 12, Dan Costarell. And the kick is good. 33 yards on the field goal, and the Hawks are on the scoreboard first with 5.53 remaining in the first period of play. Your score is Armwood 3, Springstead 0. Uh -oh. A nice run by number 20 as he uh, picked up his blocking and cut back for extra daylight. Number 20, John Ordway on the carry will pick up good yardage up the middle and it will be a Hawk first down. Option left. Number 20. Ooh. And on the option to the left side, ending up with the football is number 20, John Ordway. He'll pick up good yardage for the Hawks. Come to the right, I guess. Nope, to the left. They like that left. Yeah. Uh, and a nice move by the quarterback, number seven, Joey Dray, as he faked the pitch and he cut back inside. Oh, that was a different call, huh? From a shotgun. And number 20, Robinson on the carry. Oh, fumble, huh? Number two, Eugene Hicks on the carry. Got that, 52. And there was a fumble on the play. It looks like it will be recovered by the Hawks. Fumble recovery for the Hawks. There we go. 32, JT Otis on the carry. Two, JT Otis is in for a Hawk touchdown from two yards out. Brady won, Jason Keeps of the Hawks. New kicker. Just one field goal and you're out of a job, huh? Yeah. Point after touchdown is up and good with 9.52 remaining in the first half of play. Your score is Armwood 10, Springstead 0. And less than one for the Eagles. Third and short. Football rest just shy of the Eagle 45 yard line. Oh, man. Good defensive pursuit by the Hawks as they beat the Eagles to the line of scrimmage. Number 56 with a nice defensive play, Jason Hawsey. He'll draw picks for a long time. It's at their own 37 yard line. Okay. 
He's a good athlete. And nice play by number seven, your quarterback, Joey Gerena. Nice move as he cut it back upfield on the option, and he'll go all the way to daylight. 37, 63. 63 yards on the quarterback keep and touchdown by your Hawk quarterback, number seven, Joey Gerena. Supposed to be a good shortstop, too. Real good. <laughs> 40? Yeah. yeah, it was on the 37, 63 yards. <laughs> Into a tip, the player of touchdown is number 81, Jason Keeps of the Hawks. Point after touchdown is up and good with 6.59 remaining in the first half of play. Your score is Armwood 17, Springstead 0. Don't forget at halftime to visit your concession stand. <coughs> number 20, number, me, number 2, Eugene Hicks on the carry for the Eagles. For the Eagles. There he goes, there he goes. Let it go, let it go. Catch it. Get out of the And on the pass play, pass from number 18, Tim Marr intended for number 89, Anthony Smith. Falls incomplete. No, he can't play action. And once again, your quarterback, Tim Marr, will be set. Jim Holchi. Nice kick, nice kick, Jimmy. Is Oh, we got a flag down though. Yeah, a really nice return. Looking a little bit like the rocket from Notre Dame days. Flags down all over the field. A long time ago. It's kind of been rejuvenated in Carolina. It's doing a little pretty well at their own 31. Can't drive for no two. Can't work for us. We got nothing. Okay. Okay. Now you got this. Oh man. And once again, a nice. Number seven. Back at the last second to number twenty, John Ordway. Otis on the carry. I don't think so. Right, I think so. 
34, Clifford Hobbs on the carry. 56, Contact made by 56 of the Hawks, Jason Ozzy. Also on the play, number 44, Chris Anders, and 21, Michael Johnson. And 34, Clifford Hobbs on the carry. He will be stacked up short by the Hawk defense, once again led by number 82, Lemoyne Stoney. Yeah, they got some good linebackers. They, they pursue to the ball very well. <laughs> Back in punt formation, number 82, Jimmy Holchi, set to receive number two, Craig Gant. <laughs> nice kick. Back to the 33. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And once again, a pretty creative play by number two of the Hawks. Craig, as we resume action at the Hawk 25 yard line, it's first down and 25 for the Hawks. Oops. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Get him, get him. Oh, man. He's oh, quick, man. He is quick. What is this? You believe this? He's quick. He's going to run about 80 yards there. And on the scramble, making things very interesting. Number seven, your quarterback, Joey Jarena, throwing some, showing some good athletic ability. Finally. He's, 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 he's trying to get the Come on, Matt. Oh, come on. Adrena with a nice scramble and his pass is completed the flat to number 32. JT Otis. In punt formation, number one, Joel Carver. Set to receive number 80, Jimmy Brannick. Number two, Eugene Hicks. How about that early Short. Short. Oh, good roll though. 38 yards on the punt by number one, Joel Carver. Oh, yeah. Danny oh, Werfel. Really, Werfel's going to have a bad game against Werfel. Danny Werfel. Danny Werfel. <laughs> number five, Anthony Owens on the carry. He sent down by number 21, Michael Johnson, and number 23, Chris Johnson. At the 20, the Hawks have it first down at 10. Uh -oh. And nicely executed option by your quarterback, number seven, Jarena. Pitches it to number 20, John Ordway, and he will have big yardage. It will be a Hawk first down out to about the 43. And number two, Eugene Hicks on the carry. Pursued and caught by number six of the Hawks, Andrew Robinson. 34, Clifford Hobbs on the carry. 55. Dragged down by number 55 of the Hawks, Chad Pitts. And, oh, darn, man. And busted loose up the middle was Clifford Hobbs. But there was a fumble at the end of the play, and it was scooped up by the Hawks, number 21, Michael Johnson. Oh no. <laughs> Me too. These guys up here from the other team, they're up here cussing. They've been doing it the whole second half. Oh, okay, okay right outside the store, there's coaches from the other team. So, number 32, Otis on the carry up the middle. And once again on the option pitch, number 20, John Ordway with a good job of eluding tacklers. Football rest at about the Eagle one yard line. It'll be third down and goal to go for the Hawks. And on the carry, number 32, JT Otis is in for an armwood touchdown. Set to tee it up for the Hawks will be number 25, Dan Costarell. 
Back deep to receive for the Eagles, number five, Anthony Owens, 22, Corey Hill, and number 80, Jimmy Vranick. Oh, who let them get it? Oh. oh. I didn't even see who got it, though. Probably two. <laughs> it's about the quickest one. And on the squib kick, nice job by Costrell of the Hawks. It was recovered by number two, Craig Gant. Quick young man for Armwood, turning punts tonight and uh, does, does a nice job falling on the kickoff. So it amounts to an onside kick. And the Hawks do have possession of the football at the Eagle 25 yard line, first and 10. Fifty-one, huh? Mm -hmm. And up the middle, number fifty-one on the carry. That's Ryan Tyson. With twenty-four, Springstead seven, and we would like to congratulate the Armwood Hawks and wish them good luck next week as they advance into second-round play in the state playoffs. We would also like to congratulate.
with the safety makes it 11 for nothing. Returned by number three, Tony Brown. For the Armwood Hawks, takes down the Eagle quarterback, Chris Harris, for a loss on the play.
One year ago, the Durant Cougars went through the growing pains of a winless season, but this year, their fortunes have turned for the better. They're 2-0 and heading into tonight's high school game of the week against Class 5A Power, Armwood. They have dedicated this season to making that final step into the playoffs. So far, they're unbeaten at 2-0 and and coming off a close encounter with Lake Region. It was a wake-up call to our kids. Uh, at least we got the win as opposed to the loss, and hopefully we can grow with it. How do you see the Uh We think they're probably the most improved team in Hillsborough County right now. They're, they want a big game, and this is going to be a big game for them. You know, we, need a, we need a test, and we haven't really been tested. And you know, hopefully last Friday woke us up a little bit. All right, we'll see what happens. Why did this team cook it?
Battle of Unbeaten's Armwood against Durant. Both teams coming in 2 0 and on a roll. Well, the story tonight was Armwood senior running back John Ordway. Right here, Joey Jarena hits Ordway, who will go Ordway. A 42 yard connection and a 7 0 Armwood lead. Now, this was not an ordinary night for Ordway. TD number two of the night coming right here. In the second half, a 38-yard scamper, and Armwood had a 21-6 to lead. And for the encore, it's Mr. Ordway again. This time, uh, Ordway will go 40 yards as he weaves his way through the uh, Durant secondary to air and opportunity. Armwood wins big 27-6 and remains unbeaten at 3-0. Down to Palmetto we go. Tigers playing host.
This is bigger than big. It's high school football, and Tom Corrin kicks off our coverage tonight with his high school game of the week, Jefferson at unbeaten Armwood, and away we go. Armwood and Jefferson save the fireworks for the second half tonight. Hawks come out and build on their 7-6 halftime lead. Joey Jarena up top to tight end Terrence Dupree. Armwood led by nine. Jefferson comes right back. Quarterback Donald Caldwell connects with Tommy Jones for six. At a two-point conversion, we've got a one-point ball game. But Armwood's defense gets to Caldwell for the third time tonight. Jason Hossey recovering for the Hawks. And four plays later, Tarina finds Dupree again in the end zone. And at the end of three, Armwood led by eight. 
the Dragons had one more shot in the fourth quarter to at least tie this game, but Kevin Johnson picks off the Caldwell pass, and Armwood holds on for the victory. It was big. We feel we felt like if we can play against Jefferson, a team that's been in the playoffs and is going to be in the playoffs again this year, that we can play with anybody. And we and if nobody doubts us now, we're for real. Well, they defeat Jefferson tonight.
several super high school football games tonight, one of which is at Tampa Bay Tech. It's the 4-2 Titans playing host to unbeaten Armwood, an all-important Class 5A District 8 matchup in our high school game of the week. The Tech skill players is a stinging Armwood defense that has allowed only 11 points a game. We've done a pretty good job defensively, um, but we're, we're, you know, we have an awful lot of respect for Tampa Bay Tech, and uh, we're looking forward to Friday. As for the Hawks offense, a balanced attack featuring quarterback Joey Jarena and running back John Ordway, a productive combination that can beat you but rarely beat themselves. We're very fortunate to have the players that we do is that when we run the option, Somebody like Jarena can make the decisions and give the ball either to the Otis or to Ordaway or for himself to keep it. And, and then we've also done real well with throwing the ball, too. So hopefully this uh, pattern will continue for another few weeks. All right, good game. Uh, 7.30 tonight. Lake Wells also taking on Naples. <laughs>
Friday night of high school football. Our coverage beginning with our game of the week, Armwood against Tampa Bay Tech. Tech rolling to a 21-15 halftime lead. Quarterback Booker Washington to tight end Tony Egan. Armwood's unbeaten record was in jeopardy. But back come the Hawks with two third-quarter touchdowns. First, John Ordway with that go-ahead TD right there. And then a little one-yard plunger by Donovan Gilmore made it 29-21 Armwood. All right, we've got 12 seconds left to go in the game. Tampa Bay Tech's Chris Schur looking to win it with a 42-yard field goal. The kick is up. No, sir. It's short, and Armwood holds on to beat Tech tonight, 29-27. to And now we hook up with one of the best quarterback wide receiver tandems to ever...
veggies, veggies, boiled or steamed. There ain't no one who can beat our team. And so here he is, ladies and gentlemen, with a preview of tonight's game, the head squash, Tom Corn. Thank you very much, and I want you to know that that fight song is forever immortalized in the Bird's Eye Hall of Fame. But let me get on with the game at hand tonight. Uh, head coach Sean Callahan out here at Armwood has had one mission this week, and that is to instill in his players' heads that tonight's game against Lakeland is the biggest in school history. For 10th ranked Armwood, a victory spells playoffs. No Armwood team has made it that far. Tonight's mission will be the toughest they've faced all season. Third ranked Lakeland comes in with a very effective option offense led by quarterback Lewis Greer. His running backs are two of the better ones in the county in Keith Price and Dwayne Galishaw. Galishaw was last week's high school player of the week. We're going to try to adjust to their defense, see what they come out in, and like we did against Armadale, see what we can do with the defense. On the flip side, Armwood has plenty to counter with. A stinging defense coupled with a productive offense. The Dreadnoughts know they're in for a battle royal. It's going to be a big challenge for us. Uh, Armwood's got a great defensive uh, ball club. Uh, they've got seven returning, and uh, they really fly the ball, have a lot of speed, and uh, big hitters. So it's certainly going to be a challenge for our offense. And, uh, their, uh, their offense is uh, just as equally good. Uh, they, they run a lot of trap option, a lot of trap option play action type passes, and uh, so it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. All right, what a game this one should be. Kickoff at 7.30. Oh, CT, little did you know that we had a post-game fight song, and it kind of went like this. It went, beans, beans, there goes our dreams. Once again, we got cream. Something like that. <laughs> Get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. And now, ladies and number 88. Your officials tonight are members of the West Coast Officials Association. The referee is Bill DaCosta. The umpire is June Yemen. Linesman, Bob Whitkey. on a Friday night. It's dogs and cats living together. It's mass hysteria. It's high school football. Tom Corn with Armwood versus Lakeland. And away we go. This was a battle between two of the best in Class 5A, and it was Armwood opening up the scoring. Mike Bard with the 29-yard field goal, and the Hawks take the early lead. But back comes Lakeland, and it was D. Wayne Gallishaw breaking free. Last week's News Channel 8 
Athlete of the Week goes 80 yards for the touchdown. Tack on a Keith Price three-yard score, and Lakeland led 12-3 at the break. Oh, we had some hard hitting going on in the second half. And the price was right for Lakeland on this play. Keith Price going 22 yards for an 18-3 dreadnoughts lead. And to make matters worse for Armwood, quarterback Joey Jarena set out the fourth quarter with a shoulder injury. His status for next week is doubtful. For Lakeland, no question on a victory tonight, the final 18-3. This week's in your pocket, and uh, you can just kind of relax a little bit, I guess, huh? Definitely. Uh, winning it is, is like getting the, the pressure off of you. So we're, we're proud of our kids tonight. They played hard, and uh, Armwood played hard. It's a great football game. So Lakeland remains unbeaten at 8-0, and, and Armwood must beat Auburndale next week to make the playoffs. Tom Corrin, News Channel 8 Sports.
notch its first ever playoff spot with a win over Auburndale. Brennan Lothry shows us if the Hawks are on their way to the postseason. This is a big fight right here. Championship right here. Every game right now is a championship to us. Like all big fights, someone's got to throw that first punch. And I want it to be us. And Armwood did throw the first punch. It came on a block punch on Auburndale's first possession. Two plays later, Armwood quarterback Joey Garana delivers a crushing blow. On the option, he breaks free and breaks away from the D. 42 yards, and he's in the end zone. In the third quarter, the Hawks would begin to pull away. John Ordway takes the pitch, bounces off a few tacklers, hits the sideline, and is gone. 33 yards, and the Hawks are feasting. I'm making history tonight. So, for the first time in the school's 12-year history, Armwood is finally going to the playoffs. It's an unbelievable feeling. This was our goal from the time, a year ago today, when they beat us in the last minute. The first time Armwood's ever been in the playoffs. This is our, our ultimate goal. Now that we won, we better start setting some new goals. It's unbelievable. There's no words for it. Armwood's first time in, first time in the playoffs, baby. It'll never be done again. Final score, Armwood dominates, 37 to 17. Brennan Lothry, 28, Tampa Bay Sports. We go to Auburndale. We're going to Auburndale. And then, how's this for a fake? Joey Garena pitches the ball to John Ordway, and he turns the corner for 20 yards and an Armwood first down. Then the Hawks turn to running back J.T. Otis, and J.T. crunches the Bloodhounds for another eight yards. Armwood is on the move, and here's the coup de gras. It's John Ordway again, and this time they're not going to catch him. Ordway turns it on and goes out to score. Armwood beats Auburndale tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's music by those classic Americans. Try that time. 
Tough get going.
your voice to sleep. So please stay off my back or I will attack and you don't want that.
good about the team. You playing your best ball of the year? Yeah, we are. Yeah, there's no question about it. I'm concerned with you. We have played to the level of all our opponents all year long. And uh, some of the teams that we didn't beat real well, we didn't beat real well. Uh, yeah, and, you know, ever since we got to Lakeland, we started really picking it up a little bit. So, I guess it's the time of the year that you need to be picking it up. Were you concerned about this game? No. I mean, it, I, 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 it was funny. I, I, I lost sleep all year long. But this game here, for some reason, we told our kids that we felt good about it. And, uh, and I usually don't say that because I don't want to jinx ourselves, but we felt good about ourselves going into this game. We really did. Aggressively, you played arm with football, and I'm proud. Yeah! 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 Hey, listen up. O L D L. Where does it all start? Up front. Up front. Right here. Team start with Great See, we took the book sweep away, and we took the dive away. And they had to throw the ball. They didn't have no time to throw the ball with our guys. We told you that's how it was going to be all week long. Joey did a good job reading. We put the ball on the ground. We hey, a couple major turnovers. Yank got the ball right here. I mean, we did some nice things here. Nice things. So, hey, I hope you know now it gets tougher and tougher. Man. It gets tougher and tougher. Great to be But, fellas, remember what I told you. It's the mind. You guys believe it. We're going as long as you want. Nice job. Give yourself a
Sure. 